probably the biggest asset that we bring to the table as a company as well as a regional office is we are able to handle and manage very large and complex cases that covers a wide range of engineering and scientific skill sets. Well, as an example, we had a case of a commercial truck that had uh, rolled. It was carrying uh, logs from a timber site and uh, no one witnessed the accident. It came upon the accident after it was done. Under that circumstance, there were several mechanisms involved. We started off with the accident reconstruction, surveying the scene uh, with the 3D mapping technology that we have. We then surfaced the scene. We ran a computer simulation of the quarter roll of the truck, which is a very complex simulation. Uh, we refer to these, for instance, as trailer lead rolls, where the trailer rolls first and then pulls the tractor cab over after the effect. Usually the end game for accident reconstruction is issues related to injuries suffered by uh, the parties involved in the accident. So we'll take the output data of the computer simulation that's then uh, put into an occupant simulation program that ESI has called Matamil. Uh, that computer program is used by OEMs uh, for design development of uh, restraint systems for passenger cars and commercial trucks uh, and it has a very um, highly detailed and validated model for a crash test dummy. So the simulation data is fed into Matimo. Matimo then predicts uh, the motion of the dummy and the uh, data recovered from it that allows us to begin to offer opinions and give insight into potentials for injury to the occupant as a result of the crash. Uh, those assessments involve the uh, biomechanists that we have on staff here in North Carolina, as well as a medical doctor that we have on staff out of our Norcross, Georgia office. Their evaluations helped us to tie the events that we uh, found in the accident to the various injuries that were found in the driver themselves. All of this data was provided fairly early on in the process such that our client understood um, the sequence of events and what was the highest probable cause of injury. Now, one other issue that, that we're dealing with is, is we do have this deep bench of talent available. And uh, we do offer this in support to other consultants that are out there. We do have clients that have their favorite biomechanists or medical doctor that they work with. What we're finding though is very few of them have the high technology support to add the scholarship they need as a foundation for their opinion. We've begun to step in and backfill that role. Through our simulation capabilities of simulating the accident, putting those accelerations into an occupant model where the occupant interacts with that environment uh, that they're in, we're able to uh, add a, a very high level of, of uh, scientific and engineering acumen to their opinion. So they have that solid foundation for their opinion. So we've begun uh, doing that for several of the experts that we partner with in, in several cases. And that's uh, um, an offering we've made to, to a lot of our clients as well.